Have you ever wondered about the field of cosmetic science? If so, you're in luck. Today we're going to talk all about cosmetic science. We use all types of word terms in cosmetic science and you may have seen that on blogs, YouTube, websites, um, and probably other places that I didn't mention. And possibly you're thinking, what is this? What does that stand for? What does that mean? This video is for you. By the end of this video, you'll be able to understand some of the cosmetic science terminology and be able to have a chance to add these words into your vocab vocabulary. So one thing you might have heard me say is anhydrous. Anhydrous means that it doesn't have water in that product, such as oils and butters, like shea butter, cocoa butter, that's an anhydrous ingredient. So with this, this ingredient doesn't contain any water whatsoever. Another word you may hear is biphase, and that's basically two phases, two liquids that are not mixed together. So there's no emulsion in that um, product. So that's why it's a biphase. You might see a biphase with micellar waters or certain cleaning products. You might see the oil on top and you might see a label that says shake well before you even use the product because it's a biphase and those ingredients have to mix by you shaking it. Chemical slash chemicals. A chemical is a substance of form that has constant chemical composition and characteristics. All matter is a chemical so that is the air that I'm breathing right now water oils is a chemical and I mean the list can really go on and I just want to say this because I'm on this topic that means no product cannot have chemicals in it you know like when people are marketing and I've I have even done that before before I have gotten the knowledge I say oh my chemo my product doesn't have any chemicals in it you're lying because it actually does. Um, it You can say it doesn't have any harsh or synthetic chemicals in it because it's a natural product, but there's no such thing as a product not having a chemical because all matter is, chem it is a chemical. Another word you will be hearing a lot, and I'm pretty sure you hear it now, is collagen. It's a tough fiber that is formed in the dermis, which is the second layer of the skin emulsion which you probably heard me well not probably you did you heard me say emulsion in the beginning or a little while ago and emulsion is basically where there's two phases water and oil and you have to use a emulsifier and you put it together and that's called an emulsion um so you might hear like emulsified body butter or emulsified body lotion body cream if it has a water and oil um phase is definitely a emulsion um epidermis you're definitely going to hear this a lot especially if you're like a skin if you're in skincare formulation and hair care formulation you need to understand the science behind skin and hair okay so I do have some um, websites linked down below so you can understand the skin just in case if you uh, make products you just want to understand. And I'm not saying that you have to market your products to, oh, this helps the dermis or the epidermis. No, I'm just saying that you need to have some type of education on the things that you're making. For hair, for instance, when you go to school for cosmetology, they teach you the science behind skin and hair. And that's what they that's what you're supposed to do when you're formulating. You need to know how does the hair work, how does the skin work, and just so you can make that perfect product for whatever issue that you're trying to solve. So the epidermis is the outer layer of the skin, is what you're looking at right now. The epidermis epidermis this is the epidermis so exfoliators which you'll see um a lot this is an ingredient that that you can rub on your skin or put on your skin and it can bring uh pull off the dead skin off your body aprocrine glands is all over our body <laughs> actually there are different functions and locations for the aprocrine app procrine gland 
and I also have a link to exactly to this and I'm gonna place it down below so you guys can look at it and read more about it lipophobic it's a oil repellent it's it's an ingredient that loves water but is oil hating and ingredient such as this is hydrosol floral waters water um aloe vera anything that is water that's lipophobic hydrophobic is water is a water repellent so this is a product that is oil loving and water hating so this is shea butter wax it beeswax immiscible immiscible is basically two phases that didn't blend well so we will call that a immiscible product which is not stable and which is a fail so basically you have to go back to the drawing board and understand why your product did not blend well keratin it's a protein that's in hair nails skin or outer part of the skin so that's where keratin is from or I should say at formula a cosmetic formula is a percentage or weight based list of ingredients that will be required to formulate that product hygroscopic this is something that is able to absorb the moisture in the air it also absorbs water and binds to the water and holds on to it masquerade and you might hear as infused but it's also known as masquerade which is basically infused oils of herbs and basically this is where your carrier oil you have a carrier oil or carrier oils with some a herb or herbs and you basically have the medicinal properties from that um herb extract into your oils and then you'll use that oil for whatever you need so yeah that's called a masquerade and or infused oil toxicity it's a substance that can damage the organism or should i say an organism the organism what is the organism an an organism <laughs> mock and you might see this a lot when you're ordering um inventory it's basically it's a minimum order of quantity so if you're buying wholesale or private label you're definitely going to see like a mock number like they might say a thousand or 100 or whatever that's basically how much you can buy how low you can buy like Say if I want to buy 50 tubes, but the lowest they order they'll take is 100. I need to buy 50 more, basically. Viscosity, and I know you guys hear it a lot on formulation YouTube. It, viscosity is basically the thickness of the fluid. A liquid with low viscosity will be thin and runny, such as a face toner. For high viscosity, the the product will be thick and, and more heavier, which I'm thinking of like castor oil or like a body butter. It's very thick, it's really, really thick and rich and that's like a high viscosity. We have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for coming here and watching this video all the way through. I hope you press on that like button, please. Make sure you boost the algorithm by doing that. Comment down below, because I need to know what you think. And I don't know, just talk to me down below. Maybe you have suggestions or a question, I don't know comment down below and then make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified anytime i post don't forget to follow natural nay llc's instagram and that's where instagram and natural nay tiktok so i'll place it right here so two of those um platforms i also have an ebook so if you're into formulating want to get into formulating how to make a formula a cosmetic formula please look down below buy your ebook um and it's more invest in yourself really it's like you're investing in your business this is also going to break down the math behind formulations how to write a cosmetic formula the um the six foundations of cosmetic formulating so yeah um, make sure you guys look into that 
And if you're into that, um, yeah. And if you are into like one-on-one -on -one consultation about like your formula and you just need to tweak it or need help adjusting percentages, please reach out to Natural Nay LLC on IG and I will be able to help you. Um, but yeah, I am going to leave you guys alone. I have talked your ears off a, a great amount of much. <laughs> and um, see you guys till next time. Bye.